three, two. Woo! Man, look like we're doing lives like just constantly, right? So, try to build up some heat, get some fire here. Hey, what's good, fam? I guess I should just go ahead and say the whole thing. What's good, family? You guys should be dropping in. I'm going to wait a few minutes before I get started. You know what I mean? And uh, then I'll go into my rigmarole about what we're doing. You already read the title, so you guys know that I'm doing just like a fried cabbage. You know what I mean? Uh, this is really... Okay, so look, every other Friday I like to go live so I can like connect... You know what I mean? Uh, if you just want to say what's up, just go ahead and drop that in there. You know, I'm going to say what's up back to you. You guys got any questions, you can just uh, let me know. Uh, somebody just gave me a thumbs up telling me everything is working properly this time. I'm sure you guys will tell me how it is. Then if you guys switch, I'm going to see if I can get them to switch over here aside. What I'm doing is I'm just getting my bacon together. You know what I mean? Building up a little bacon fat down on the bottom because I'm going to use that also. Right? So just gave this a head start right before we started. Look, I just took a, pa a pack of bacon. Went ahead and just cut it down, you know, to like these size strips. Let me just pull these up right now so you can see. You see that right there? Just pull them up to about that size right there, All right? And we just start with this. Now, if you guys got any questions, you know what I mean? Now's the time to ask, you know what I mean? And again, it's every other Friday, excuse me, it's every other Friday that we're going to be going live, right? And then the Fridays we're not doing live, I'm going to go ahead and just put out my regular uh, video. If you guys want to know why I'm doing it like that, after doing, uh, being on YouTube for almost six years, this June will make six years for myself. You know what I mean? Uh, I just like the fact that I can like just connect with everybody. I don't care if you just hit it with a thumbs up. That's good. That's what's killing the television. Hey, with that being said, what's good? All right. Cindy says, what's up, baby? Cindy? Mm -hmm. What's good, Cindy? Talk to me. What we doing? It's it's, it, today is Friday, all right? Yeah, it's got to be. I'm live. Hey, talk to me. Let me know in the, uh, in the chat. What are we making this weekend? You doing something tonight, you know, Cindy? Or are we doing something this weekend? Tell me you're doing something. Josh Thomas says this is about to be fire. Oh, yeah. Hey, how many people out there? Let us know in the comments, right? In this chat, how many of y'all uh, like fried cabbage? And then I really want to know this. How many people haven't even had fried cabbage? Uh, if you are uh, on a keto diet or looking, you know, something like that, then for sure you know about this right here. Huge on the flavor, you know what I mean, without all of that, all of those carbs. To be honest with you, like, almost, like, really no carbs. Kale Evans said, congrats on your success. Uh, thank you, thank you. Hey, for those of you guys that didn't, uh, didn't see any of the posts, like, on Instagram or, or Facebook, I don't know if we put anything on, uh, did we put anything on uh, YouTube about yesterday? How we went out and uh, did, you know what, if you didn't know, you guys, check it out. We went out to uh, myself, Pat Neely, and uh, Chef Lorius. We went out and did Good Day. It wasn't Good Day, L.A. It was Fox that was, 5, that was Fox 5 Lion yeah. Lunch Hour. Right, the live lunch hour yesterday, which was like a major success. They invited us out, asked us to come back for the 4th of July. If we can work that out, then uh, we're going to go back and do that. You know what I mean? Uh, big things are happening. It's been slow. Slow on my part, mostly. You know what I mean? Uh... Just hadn't really been like seizing all the opportunities that, you know, been coming my way. But I'm going to try to do that. See if we can't, you know, have a representative to take us out and be large, folks. Sonia B says, trying to make an amazing steak this weekend. Any recommendations? An amazing steak. Recommendation. I'm a ribeye person, so you, you got to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, I would just say, let's do a ribeye. You know what I mean? I'm not sure how you like your meat. Let me know like how you like your meat. You know what I mean? Uh, you like your steaks medium rare? which most of the following that I have do not, you know what I mean? Some like it medium, but a lot of people I'm finding out, they like theirs to be well done. Now, before you read another question, look, I want her, look, can you uh, go ahead and switch inside this pot? Or are you in here already? Okay. You see this right here? This is about as far as you want to go. I start with the bacon because I really, I'm looking for that fat right there. That's what I want to go ahead and get. Toxic masculinity said we ordered out tonight, but I'm having second thoughts. Oh, no. Hey, don't trip. It's, you know what? Treat yourself. Usually when we order out, you know, I, I do the exact same, you know. Uh, you'd be surprised how much out I eat. You know what I mean? How much going out I do. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to, like, tone it back a little bit, trying to do a little bit of more of a healthier eating. You know what I mean? So when I have these recipes, I don't, I don't just eat them every day. Treat yourself, and guess what? It's always tomorrow. Hey, this is an easy one for you, too. So I want you guys to take a look at this bacon right here. Anitria McCranry said, I love fried cabbage. What are you adding to it? 
Okay, so right off the back, obviously, we're doing bacon, right? I'm going to keep it kind of like traditional, well, well, traditional to the way I make it. You know what I mean? I'm going with the bell peppers. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, onion. You know, I got green, orange, and the red, you know, for a little flavor. This right here is really like my level up, folks. That's this right here. I don't know. Let me put it right here so you guys can see it. This is my chicken and dewey sausage. This right here got a whole lot of flavor, folks. Uh, this has been like my little go-to. I tell everybody about it, so it ain't a secret no more. If you can find it, you know, get yourself something. This is uh, made by the brand. This is a uh, Hoffy. I don't get nothing. I need to be their representative. That's all I'm going to say. You know, we put a little garlic in there. You know what I mean? And then we let these flavors just do their thing. But this right here, this, mm, look at that. Let me go ahead and put it over here so you all can see it in right here next to this pot. This right here. Now, everybody might not have this, but by the way, I've been looking at the sales on this right here. I'm going to say just about everybody that follows me does have it. This right here is the real level up. So all of this, when it marries together, boom. Hey, you know what? Let me see. Do I have any uh, celery? Any celery in this art? You know what? Let me get some celery, too. So one of the cool things about you know, making dishes like this, I treat this like it's uh, like a stir fry. I can go in my refrigerator and look and see what I have. You know what I mean? And if I want to add something to it, I will. But everybody should have, uh, oh, you could have just, you could have threw it. <laughs> everybody should have like the holy trinity. You know what I mean? You should always have that at the ready, especially if you follow on this channel. You know what I mean? There's a lot of other channels out here to do the exact same thing too. You know what I mean? Uh, Pixel looking. Hinata Becca says, I want to know if it's possible to bake bread on a grill oh yeah yeah yes it is i gotta say this now listen what type of grill that's gonna be the real thing listen it's gonna be a little noisy right now because you know we got to do with your celery i know y'all will beat me up if i don't wash this so i'm gonna go ahead and just wash it rinse it off and when i say wash we ain't, i don't put no soap on it or nothing like that you guys would be surprised some of the questions that i get like what kind of liquid do i use to wash things off with you know what I mean? I just hit it, rub my hands on it. Obviously, I got gloves. You know what I mean? But what I like to do is just rinse it, make sure I don't see none of that dirt, and then I'm finna clean it up with this knife. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's see here. Um, I had a comment. I'm sorry. The line spot says, I fry it, but I want to see how you do it to get some pointers. Okay. So what you see right now, I got bacon fat in the inside of it. I was looking at it. I was trying, I'm debating to myself, like, do I want to drain some of that? But you know what? I'm going to use it. I don't have no, look, this is my head right here. Look, it's kind of small, right? Looking at that. Yeah. I'm going to say we good, right? So I start with the bacon fat. You guys let me know what you guys use when you guys do it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's really about, you know, the flavor that you want. I didn't have to do that with the bacon, but I like the bacon to be in there also. If you guys are not using, uh, if you guys are like trying to stay away from the pork, you can always use beef bacon. But listen, how many of y'all have this? You see this right here? If you don't have a mason jar with bacon fat, you see I saved mine. Strainer, if I wasn't going to use that, I would just put the strain on top, pour this right on top. You'll see it it'll be liquidy on the top. As it cool, it turns out like this. Mukiek mm -hmm. says, your hat game is dope. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you something about my hat game. Before I started this channel, my hat game was really, really tight. But you know what? I kind of like just been known like AB from LA, right? So I went with the just, I just keep going, excuse me. I just keep going with all of the, uh, the LA hats. But I got so many hats. You know what I mean? But now I feel funny. I can't even really wear none. You know what I mean? Because everybody going to be looking at me like, hey, where your L.A. hat at? If I want to hide from somebody, I'll, just, I'll wear another hat. But the thing is, when I'm out in public and I say something like, uh, if I say something to somebody and they hear my voice, they turn around and be like, hey, I knew that was you. Kit Wren says, do you have a restaurant? I do. It's in Rancho Cucamonga. Me and my buddy uh, Mike, you know, the, we co-owners of uh, Elmer and Jasper's Crab Barbecue and Rancho Cucamonga. But you know what? Uh, today's the day. I've been talking about, look, I'm doing something big and it's happening out here in uh, Vegas. I'm going to make the announcement today. So if you guys not follow me on uh, any of the other social medias, uh, it would be nice to, you know, follow me over that way too. I'm going to kick some real gems to you. Look, we just got the trailer launched. 
uh, in negotiations with something happening out here. That I won't say too much more about, but listen to this. It's big enough for me to say that, hey, the negotiations. You know what I mean? Uh, but trying to get, you know, like two things going on out here. You know what I mean? And uh, just doing a lot. But I'm slowing down, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, been talking about doing a, a book tour. That don't seem like, that's been like, man, I, that's like an active God out here trying to get that done. But listen, it's a whole lot going on. You know what I mean? Uh, the restaurant is getting ready to be talked about today. I just got the pictures of the final wrap. Loving what I see. And I'll put it out to everybody right after this and I get cleaned up. All right. All right, so look, what I'm doing is now, I'm, you know, I turned off my heat, right? So what I did was, look, I got a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got like a, uh, that's like low. I got a low flame. I'm going to bring this back up, and I'm going to work with, okay, so let me do this right here. I'm going to show this because I'm going to make it all messy. If you guys can see, you know I got it all chopped up like that, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it all down. Lucy Williams says, what's, a, what's good with cabbage? Uh... For one, it's a vegetable, you know what I mean? Uh, you got no carbs if you're dieting, especially if you're doing something on the keto side, uh, just the, the flavor that you get. All of them, everything that mostly people make, you know, when you're doing uh, some type of keto diet or something like that, you know, it's like a lot of, I don't know, I'm going to say, like, you do what you can do to, like, spruce them up, you know, on the flavor, right? This right here, whether you're on keto or you're not, this is like a staple, you know what I mean? Uh, real, real big on, uh, on flavor. But if you ask me, though, it starts with, like, my base. And I obviously, I'm starting with a good base. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add this. Look, I'm doing a lot. You know what I mean? This is, like, truly, when I say leveling it up, that's what I'm doing. You know? So you I just a, added a little butter to that, too. You got a super chat from Cooking with James. Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Talk to me. Oh, he didn't ask oh, a question with it. Hey, sorry. that's what's up. Hey, my bad. My bad. My bad. I thought he had a question. No, I'm sorry. Rep said cornbread with it. Cornbread? You know what? Uh, I don't have any cornbread with this. What was I thinking? <laughs> they were answering the question from huh? like what would be good with oh, cabbage, okay, maybe cornbread. Right, right, right. You got another super chat from Valerie Owens. No question. You know what? Uh, thank you, guys. You know, listen, I do appreciate the love. You know what I mean? Uh, I just wish that everybody can uh, make it out here to Vegas. You know what I mean? Uh, this is where I'm at right now, you know? So you guys can come out. We can, like, hang out, you know, take pictures, eat. You know what I mean? And just, and just turn up. That's been my goal, you know what I mean? Because uh, if you ask me, it's really about, like, giving a great experience. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know what, no other way to say it. It's really about the experience. You know what I mean? I'm going to ask you guys this, and let, let's just take a survey. I'm going to just ask this. We're going to use one and two, right? I'm going to ask, okay, I'll ask it this way. How many people been to a restaurant that had great food, but your, your, your service or your experience wasn't the best? Food was good, but your experience wasn't good. Do you go back? I want to know. Drop a... Drop a one in the chat if, if you do. You know what I mean? Uh, if you go back and your experience is not the best, but the food is great, I want you guys to drop a one in the chat. All right. John Osborne says, AB, your recipes have all been fire, but miss the outside barbecue. Are you bringing back to it this summer season? Uh, that is an understatement. Uh, am I bringing it back? I uh, just need to like work it into my lineup, and we starting next I got, a, I got a couple of things. You know what? I just got behind a grill that I like. You guys will, uh, see. It's an offset smoker. You know what I mean? Uh, I really, really like it and decided, and working with the company about putting my name on it. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, going there. But this is the year that I go ahead and solidify myself as far as being on YouTube about barbecue. I'm going to start it off with a uh, real video. Actually, it's getting ready to be. It's already filmed. We just need to edit it, you know, and go from there. But uh, to, let me give you the short answer. Heck yeah. It's coming. Uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Like, it's coming. Like, no, nah, it's here. Love your work, AB. How good was Malcolm Reed's barbecue? Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, is a legend. What you mean? What, hey, you know, uh, and I got it. You know what? We all on the internet. You, if you don't know him, you know what I mean? Uh. 
If you was on that side of the country, you probably would know who, you know, who he is or whatever, or tasted some of his food. Dude know a lot. Hey, you know what? And I, I, I got to say this. I've been queuing for a long time, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, not maybe as long as I've been cooking, but a little bit after that. They only down like a couple of, there's only separation by like a couple of years. You know what I mean? But I can just say this. I never stop learning. And dude has helped refine my game. You know what I mean? Uh, Malcolm is good, you know, a good in my book. And he's good in other people's book too. Very selective of who he, uh, who he works with. You know what I mean? Uh, keeps his image clean. And just as much as he does that though, I'm just telling you, the dude barbecue game is outstanding. So cooking with James, uh, do you like cabbage or collard greens better? Now that's a cold one. <laughs> cooking with James, huh? Hey James, that's you? Do you got a logo? Um, what is it? It looks like it's so round with a little J in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> What's good, fam? Hey, don't try to sneak up, bro. Hey, you trying to like pull up incognito. That's what you're trying to do. That's, uh, oh, sorry. Hey, then you want to hit me with a tricky question. How do you answer that? Do I like this over that? Uh, I'm going to say it like this, bro. I like them both just as equal. I don't know how to... I don't know. Right now, I'm, I'm stuck on them gumbo greens, man. Them gumbo, gumbo greens is killing it. And when you guys come out here to Vegas, you know, of course, I got to have them two ways, regular greens, you know, southern style regular greens. But the gumbo greens is probably what we're going to double down on. That's going to do it. Hey, getting back to this, uh, you saw me. Look, I just cut down. Look at how big these, uh, these slices are on them. You see what I'm saying? See how I did these? These are almost like quarter. These are almost like eighths. You know what I mean? You see that right there? Look at that onion. Ah, yeah. And then right when they start to just get soft a little bit, I always give my, uh, my onions a head start. Let's go ahead and do this. Hey, I can tell you something that I never thought about all of my life. You know how you always want a, uh, a cutting board and you want to have a juice ring? When you have a juice ring, stuff get hung up on it when you're trying to put it in there. You know what I mean? Uh, so you make sure you only get a juice ring on one side. But on my boards, what I do is I take my boards and I put, you know, when I am making them, what I do is I put the feet on the other side so it kind of like defeats the purpose. Juice ring, good, especially for them steaks. Really anything. And then I'm going to focus, too, and let you guys know like how important it is when you're doing your meats. you got to let them rest, folks. Fox Over Filling said, back to your question about the restaurant and the services, mm -hmm. number one, because the experience could have been just the individual or individuals during that particular shift. Oh, so they go back and try yeah. it again? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, well, you know what? Uh, I like to hear that as being on the owner side. You know what I mean? Because you know what? We are only as good as the, the service that the individuals who work for you, you know how they are. You know what I mean? Like how, how good of a service do they, do they buy into the culture? You know what I mean? Uh, so that's, that's like really, real, real, real and, uh, important. For me, I can deal with a place that have, uh, if my, exper if my uh, experience is great and the food, you know, I'm not saying it's bad, but if the food is, it's good, it's just not way over the top, like, ooh, this is like the best ever. I probably frequent them places more often because I like to get the experience, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm a real experience-based. But to be honest with you, when you say experience-based, check this out. For me, I'm striving to do both. It's the experience and have great taste in food. You know what I mean? Uh, not an extensive uh, menu, you know what I mean? But the things that I do, it will be to the, to the liking of those who are involved. That right there is very, very important. All right, I'm, ooh, man, I'm loving everything that I'm seeing in here. DP says, AB, what made you want to do a cooking show? Uh, okay, so when they say cooking show, are they talking about like, I just need to be a little bit more, you know, more specific. And the reason I'm saying that, because a lot of people call this channel like a show. You know what I mean? Which I do appreciate. That's how they see it, then so be it. You know what I mean? Uh, but what made me start my channel was I just, I needed something to do. You know what I mean? Uh, I needed to get a, I was working long hours. You know what I mean? Uh, just something to keep me rooted. You know what I mean? So and then I got tired. I was looking at my weight. I'm starting to gain weight. You know what I mean? They're eating at all these uh, fast food places. You know what I mean? So I just decided, look, I made a video. You know what I mean? Uh, my very first video was a crock pot video. It's still on my chain, on my, on my channel right now. I left it on there so we can all see where I came from. I used to hate to talk. Now I can just ramble on and on and on. Right? 
and then uh made a video and then from that though you know didn't you want the video to look better you know uh somebody asked you you know hey can you make this and i'm like make it all the time and then from that five years and about seven or eight months here we are today all right Killer Would Panda you? says, sorry, hi, I was wondering, are you coming out with another cookbook or are you coming out with a season? Oh, you know what? Uh, yes. If you guys look at, okay, so listen, let me just say how I work with all of, all of the videos, right? If you guys look at anybody's video underneath, you know, we all have stores. If you look under there and it should be a shelf, we call that top shelf. What we do is we just put, you know, our, our major items on there. I got my seasoning on there. My co-author cookbook with myself and Matt, Mr. Make It Happen. Some of you guys are following him. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you'll be able to get everything from there. It, everything is on there. You guys can go to my Amazon store. Anything that I cook with down to these hexclad uh, pots, pans, and all of that, that's here. I got a few I, more items coming, you know, for myself. Those are in the works. I'll be launching those right at the start of the summer. You know what I mean? And uh, just a lot of cool things, you know? Rody Muspum says, question, what about adding shrimp to it? You can add shrimp to this, yes. Matter of fact, I was making this and somebody was around when I was making it and they saw that I had some shrimp in the refrigerator, right? And they said, let's do it. And I was like, you know what, let's do it. So at the end, I'd probably, I'd probably add it maybe the last seven or eight minutes. You know what I mean? And uh, just give it a stir, let them warm up. They'll cook that way. And just do it. I will tell you this. It's, it's fine. You know what? I wish I'd have thought about that from the gate. When is your second cookbook coming out? Uh, my st okay, so look. I'm bringing out my first cookbook in the fall. You know what I mean? Uh, it'll be in the fall of, uh, of this year. This would be with myself, me and Matt. We're working on our second cookbook right now as we, you know, as we speak. Uh, that'll be done. I don't know when... I don't know. We probably need a couple of more months before we go to the publishing. Oscar Contreras said, what kind of glizzy are you throwing in there, cuz? What kind of what? Kind of what? what kind of glizzy are you throwing in there, cuz? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I love the lingo. Hey, and then when they talk like that, they make me want to bite. You know what I mean? Want to make me, hey, just go back. Go back a couple of, shit, I got to go back a decade. <laughs> you know what I mean? Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I said I'm about to go back. <laughs> Just that quick. You know, I can regress. Now, look, cutting these, let me just talk about this. Cutting these, you cut them how you want to cut them. You know, it's really up to you. You know, uh, everybody got some kind of way they're doing. Look, to me, you cut them how you want to. You know why? Because even when you got a piece like this, you see this side, it's going to shrink down and do its thing anyway. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and add this now. It's up to you. You guys want crunchy, you know, uh, bacon? Add it at the end. But for me, I add it back. I just didn't want it to get so soft, you know, earlier. I like to take it out. I didn't want to burn the bacon. But this right here, I hope you guys can see inside. How they look inside this pot? You know what I mean? Uh, this right here, this that money. You know what I mean? Uh, real easy to make. You guys got to make this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this level up up in here. And huh. that'll be, you know what? So I don't be sneezing and coughing and doing all that. I'm going to take this off like this. And I'm just going to add myself. Now, it depends on how much kick you want. You see the name of this is what? Creole kick. So watch out. You know what I mean? Uh, they don't, hey, they don't call this that for nothing. You know what I mean? Just want to put a little flavor in there. That's it. You don't need a whole lot. Pop Tart Gone Trucking says, when are you going live again so I know? When? Oh, it's every other Friday, every other Friday, Pop-Tart, you know what I mean? Uh, so look, it's every other Friday at 4.30, you know, and then uh, the Fridays that I'm not live like this, you know, the, I'll release a video at 1 o'clock. Trying to get back to being more consistent, you know what I mean? I uh, got some great help around me, you know, uh, so things are working out, you know what I mean? So I'm getting back to, to normal. Jack Zager said, why did you start filling TV? Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, Jack, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that might be Jonathan. Okay, so look, you guys, listen, you see that comment right there? That's about Grilling TV, the Grilling TV network. 
if you guys don't know right now, you know what I mean? Uh, look, we're trying to grow another, uh, another channel, right, with talented chefs, chefs like myself. You guys already know who Pat Neely is. You know, we got uh, uh, Aaron McCargo, Kenneth Temple, Chef Laureus. And then earlier you heard me talking about uh, Chef Laureus. That's who I was with in D.C. You know what I mean? Uh, just you guys want to see something new, you got to go by there. Look, all you got to do is when you're in this, when you get through with this, just go ahead and uh, put, look up Grilling TV, right? When you look it up, you'll see it. You'll see myself, Pat, and other great, you know, talented guests. You guys got to go by there, show your support. You know what I mean? And uh, just check it out. I think you guys will like it. And we got some fun things, you know, coming up too. Kit Ren says, you wear gloves. Are they difficult to cook while wearing them? No. You know what? Uh, no. Well, you know, these type of gloves, they fit real real nice and tight. You know what I mean? So no, no issue. But I would just say it's probably a good thing to just start using your gloves. You know, start using them now. After you cook with them a couple of times, they become second nature. Gerald Krennic said, did we have a cuss? LOL. Huh? <laughs> Gerald Krennic said, did we have a cuss? Yeah. LOL. <laughs> hey, so I don't, know if they, hey, I don't know if you heard it or not, but they started telling me, like, hey, you cuss. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you know what? I like to stay authentic. You know what I mean? I try not to be a, a sailor, you know? But uh, sometimes it just is what it is. You got a super chat from Sincerely Yours. I'm enjoying the lives. Much respect. You know, uh, thank you. You know what? You know what? It's cool, man. I get I run into a lot of people, you know what I mean? And uh, they talk to me. You know what I mean? I, I'm still amazed, you guys, that anybody want to see anything that I do. You know, uh, but I hear a lot of the, and I can see the influence out on YouTube. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people have been, I guess, inspired to do something. Just think, if I had not have ever, ever made a video, right? I would never, ever have gotten here. You know what I mean? So if somebody, but I've seen other chefs, you know what I mean? Uh, to be honest with you, I've seen chefs that look like me to let me know that this was even uh, possible. You know what I mean? So I stayed authentic, did me, you know what I mean? And uh, just tried to go from there. Do we have any, uh, look in there and see, can I have some uh, chicken stock? So I hope you guys can uh, see this. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of liquid so I can give me a little steam down here on the bottom. You know what I mean? I got most of it coated. You can see that. All right, let me step out for one sec. Thanks. Bianca Amen. Armstrong says, my son loves your videos. He's been watching you since he was 11 months. He calls you Cooking Hat Man. Cooking, what, Cat Man? Cooking Hat Man. Oh, the Cooking Hat Man. What's his name? <laughs> he did, she didn't tell us, she'll tell us right now. And you got a super chat from Kit Ren with no question. Huh, with no question. You know, thank you guys. You know what I do with the super chat, you guys? You know what, I just put it back into the, uh, I put it back into the channel. You know what I mean? Any kind of way I can like level up the production, you know, or do something like that, that's what I do with it. So I thank you, but it doesn't diminish that people that just watch the channel. You know what I mean? I'm just happy with, you know, just the view. You know what I mean? And uh, second of all, I want to say this. Thank you to everybody, whether you do that or not, you know, it's much appreciated, much appreciated if you do, you do, and much appreciated if you don't. You know what, I do have one request though. I want you guys to don't forget to like. You know what I mean, uh, that's very, very important. Just like, it teaches the algorithm, like hey, maybe this content is cool, you know what I mean, and then it just pushes it out, and who knows, next time the Food Network be looking for somebody, they might just find your boy. All right. Gerald Krennic said, and share. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and yeah, share. Hey, you know what uh, I got to say, you, and, and I got it, everybody can't be in here all at the same time, you know what I mean? Uh, this is just cool, you know, a little reconnection, you know what I mean, uh, just to talk to everybody, you know, just to have, you know what, anybody in your life is like amazing, you know what I mean? So that's it. So right now I'm just going to let go ahead, come on man, ask me some real questions out here now. When not making YouTube videos, do you cook a lot for you and your wife, or do y'all each cook? Uh, seeing how she might be in here, I'm, I can't lie. I don't, uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing too much of nothing. As far as, uh, because I cook, you know, throughout the day, you know, I'm cooking everywhere. So mo mainly, I cook here now, because this kind of like just became, you know, kind of like become my life. But I got some cool hobbies, though. Hey, if you guys didn't know, uh, 
Hey, listen, so I got a little assignment for everybody, which I know it's hard to get people to go and do. You guys got to go by the Griller TV network and go ahead and subscribe. Other great, talented chefs like myself, hey, t more talented than me. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm still learning from them. Hey, listen, to be, to be able to cook alongside a real chef, just to, uh, you know, get your knife game together, just to be able to... That right there, listen, I respect it. Then, look, after you do that, I want you guys to go by and look at, uh, what is it, Life with AB. It's on my channel, you know what I mean? But just look it up. It's Life with AB. You'll see I only got four videos on that. But listen, we already started uh, recording some other videos and they're being edited right now. You're going to want to be on there. So a lot of people ask me, like, what do I do? There's so many things that I do, but uh, I got some fun stuff on there. It's, it's really not food related. I mean, some of it's based around food, you know what I mean? But uh, you want to go over there, you know what I mean? And, uh, and just uh, let's just live. Go ahead. Joe, sorry. Um... Joe Nation 94 said, AB, what's your top two comfort foods? Hey, right off the bat, number one. You, what's his name, Joe? Mm -hmm. Joe, you ain't been with me that long, huh? I got to say it that way, right? Because, Joe, you got to know, right off the bat, man, it's that smothered pork chop, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, it'll be that. I don't know. I can just give you my whole meal. That, some red mashed potatoes and gravy. You know what I mean? Some of that, uh, some of some of that smotheredness on that on them potatoes, and like some greens and cornbread. I just gave you the whole thing, man. That right here is me. If I was gonna be on an island, and I can only have one meal. There you go. Charlene Bercillo said, "Where do we find you on the other channel, Chef?" Okay, the other channels. Listen, I'm getting ready to start putting my specific videos on the Grilling TV Network, right? So all you got to do is when you're on YouTube, just search in the search bar anywhere. Just put in there Grilling TV. That's all. You ain't got to put the network on it, nothing like that, and it'll come up. When you see that, you'll see, my, you'll see myself, Pat Neely, and other great chefs. And we got some surprises for everybody. Uh, some, 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 I'm going to just say some big name chefs. You know what I mean? They're just coming in and showcasing their skills and showing some love. And I do have another channel called Life with AB. You know what I mean? Uh, go by there, subscribe, and then starting next week, I'm going to start dropping these videos. It's just a matter of getting them edited, you know, stuff like that. Oscar Contreras said, what's the most polite way to tell someone at a barbecue that raisins don't go on potato salad? And the little seasoning goes <laughs> a long way. Hey, don't get me started talking about this potato salad. We could do a live talking about that. Man, I don't know how you tell nobody, hey, that's, that's a good one. You know what? I, I like to play with that. I like to just say I'd walk by and get close to it, hope it was next to the edge, and I'd just walk by and, oops. You know what I'm saying? Who, who does that? I know who does it. I know who does it. You must have been at a company function, you know what I'm saying, uh, and then somebody at your company did it. But I can tell you this. If you look like me and you went to a potluck or, or a backyard boogie or a, a park and they having a barbecue, right, tell me you don't feel like this. Like, hey, who made this potato salad? You know what I'm saying? Hey, the potato salad is like, like key. Potato salad and the barbecue baked beans. You know what I mean? Then you, I know right off the back, you look right at the grill and want to know, who's that dude over there? What is he doing? I got one for you. How many times you been out there and somebody been grilling, they been grilling right on the top? You know what I mean? Right on top of the coals. You know what I mean? Uh, I see it all the time, folks. Unless you're making some carne asada, carne asada or something like that, then, uh, hey, get off of that. Hey, why you doing that? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm saying that's how you cook that. Okay, Joe Nation 94 said the best way to cook a Polish sausage? A Polish. Polish, my mm -hmm. bad. Uh-huh. Oh, what's the best way? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. My, I thought he was going to tell me the best way. No. Okay. Uh, best way, it, it really depends. You know what I mean? Uh, Polish sausage? Man, you could do that a couple of different ways. If you're doing them outside, that's one thing. Cut a couple of slits. You know, put that on your grill somewhere on that... Uh, indirect zone and let that work let it absorb some smoke but you got to put the slot you know the slits in it right uh if you were doing it in the house i got a simple way to do it, especially if you're doing it in the morning you know you're making your breakfast i would just put a little layer of uh a little layer of water and let me let me strike that because i told you guys you got to listen to me you remember following me i always when i use the word water i know what you're hearing you should be hearing chicken stock right you just put a little bit of that down there put that on you know put that uh the sausage right on the top and kind of like give it a it's almost like a, a broil type of uh, look. Those two ways is how I, I make them all the time anyway. Renata Thompson said, what do you do to unwind? Uh, what I do to unwind? 
Oh, I'm all the way up. You guys see me right here. I like to say I'm unwound right here, but like my number one hobby in the world is I drive a drag car. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just into speed, love that. You know what I mean? Just bought me a, a, a hog. You know what I mean? Just got me a road glide. You know what I mean? Just want to get away and just like kind of like disconnect, even if it's just for the day. You know what I mean? Uh, stuff like that. Like I can, I can get away from this. Only thing about that is I've been smashing this so hard and working hard, even transitioning from work, quitting my job, not doing that no more. You know what I mean? And then doing this full time. It's uh, sometime when I break away and just do me, it'd be hard to come back. Mike Jones says, do you ever do pork chops and applesauce? I have. I've tried it. You know what I mean? Uh, I need to revisit that. You know what I mean? Uh, I really, I do. I need to come back to that. I've had some that was great. I tried to, like, emulate it on my own. Uh, I need some work to do. But I have had it, and I do like it. What you know about that? A. Bass said, since you're from the west side, boys in the hood or menace to society? Oh, boys in the hood. Come on. Boys in the hood. Brian W. says, for the potato salad, it depends on who brings it. If it's grandma's, you say nothing. Right, right, right. Well, it depends on whose grandma made it. I got I to gotta go to that. You know what I mean? I got to look at, I got to look at, uh, yeah, if it's my grandmama's, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't eat everybody's potato salad. The potato salad is so easy to make. Uh, the hardest thing for me to do is when I made my potato salad and put it on YouTube was really just trying to figure out how do I tell everybody the ingredients. Oh, and with that being said, listen, a lot of times we, uh, we cook and we just give you the base. It's up to you because you're supposed to taste as you go. Go ahead. Cooking with James said, if you had to pick, would you rather race your car or do YouTube? You have to pick. Hey, hands down, I'd, I'd rather race my car. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, you're talking about something that... Man, I've been doing that since I was 16 years old. All this stuff about all these dudes out here and all these movies, Fast and the Furious and all of that, a lot of that really started, uh, a little bit of it started down south, but I'm going to say a lot of that started down there in uh, South Central Los Angeles. For those of you guys uh, from L.A. that's in this way, you know, I'll just say one thing. Even, hey, listen, we used to date and do everything on Florence and Man. I'll just leave it like that. Hey, I'm probably telling my age, but I've been out there with Spoke, uh, all the big names, Van, the gray boys and all of that. Just been doing this forever. It's in my blood. Paul Bowman said, I saw you on Fox News. Ah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, hey, you know what? That was, a, that was, that was a cool little segment. Uh, we shot that yesterday, and you want to talk about getting you in? Look, they got myself, Pat Neely, and Chef, uh, Chef Lorius. They brought us in, had us get everything ready, do the job, and then they, they put you right back on the plane and get you out of there. We're getting ready to do a Good Day L.A., and all of that is really uh, surrounded by uh, the Grilling TV network. You know what I mean? There's a lot of buzz behind it. You know, we're trying to build up uh, some of the people, you know, some of the local people that watch. Uh, hey, just support the channel, you guys. Remember, YouTube slash Grilling TV. All you got to do is do that, and then go by, hit, hit the subscribe button, and watch a couple of the videos. All right. Gress512 said, at the barbecue and potluck, if you can't cook, don't. Hey, let me pick something up and then drop it. <laughs> hey. You so right. If you can't cook, <laughs> don't. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what? Just ask. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get you some help. Uh, I love when people ask me because I don't mind, you know, getting in there and just showing them. Once you explain everything, I think that's why the channel has grown to as big as it is. Oh, and I got to say this too. Hey, this is a big milestone. I think in January, Smoking and Grilling with AB passed the Food Network and followers. That's crazy. I don't get all of the views because my channel is more seasonal. You know what I mean? Uh, we'd have to talk like analytics or something like that, but I just thought that was like a major, major accomplishment for the channel. Go ahead. Got a super chat from Clifford Barnes. Love Thank cooking you, your recipe. My family loves your pasta, Laya, especially my six-year-old. He helps me cook. Hey, that's what's up. That's something that my grandmama and my mama pass along. Ain't nothing like the family inside of that. You know, inside of the kitchen, you guys get to go in there and then create. You know what I mean? Just look at the kids when they put something together. You know what I mean? If they're big enough, you know what I mean? They can walk an actual bowl of a finished product to the table and put that down. Hey, look at, look at the confidence. Look at the gait they use when they're walking. You know what I'm saying? And just how they hold themselves up. That right there, you're building a chef. Vicious Sony V says, since when have you been doing lives? WTF, I've been at. Hey, family, keep us smoking and grilling. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I just kind of like just started this maybe like about a month ago, right? Yeah, this is, this is like my second one. It's like every other week. 
And again, for everybody that's new in here, just dropping in here, I'm going to be doing a live every other week. So it won't be next Friday. It'll be the following Friday after that. So I'll just pick a dish. Like right now, I'll just go ahead and show you. Look, got that cabbage, folks. Got that andouille on the top. Only thing missing right now, which I didn't put in here, and that's some red chili flakes. You know what I mean? I got some people coming around that's got some sensitive, uh, we'll just say this, they belly sensitive. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't just raise it up. But I did hit it with that. I wish we had that sound effect so I can hit it like this and just point at it and make it go. Ding. Hey, this Creole kick, this will light them up, though. <clears throat> oh, let me put some more pepper. One thing about pepper, man, I, I, if I don't see my pepper, I feel like I, I, didn't, I didn't put enough in there. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go ahead and get it like that. Roderick Latrell said, I fixed my woman the smothered turkey wings one weekend, and now she brings groceries home for me to cook. <laughs> hey, congratulations. It could be a curse, too, though. You know what I mean? Uh, but that's what you want. Hey, you want to keep them? Everybody can't do it like that, man. I like that. Yes, sir. Hey, you guys ever come to Vegas? Look me up, please. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just a regular cat. Love to like, get out there. I get to run in my mouth. My family be like, hey, you talking too much. We can't ever get to the destination. But just look me up. You know what I mean? And uh, you never know. We might do something. Shan19765 said, what do you think of the new Demon 170 Challenger? I love drag racing. The, the, new Demon the new, 170 The new one that just saw. Uh, Challenger. The Challenger. You're talking about the one that they just brought out, uh, was it last week or whatever? Ask them if they, they talk about that. But anyway, the Challenger is cool. And uh, I'm getting ready to, I'm building a new car right now. Like, I'm building a, uh, a new chassis car. Those are like street cars, they great. You know, Mustang for the street racing and all that, but I kind of like changed my program. Uh, you know what I mean, no more on the street. You know what I mean, uh, this is like instant death. We hit something out here or somebody, or we running in somebody like that. We try to keep it safe. But uh, we talking like going seven seconds, stuff like that. But to answer your question, uh, I think it's a hell of a fun ride. You got to be safe, have a smart mind. You know what I mean? And uh, I, can't, I can't say nothing because I'm on, on video right now. You know <laughs> what I just say? Hey, I, I, think it's, I think it's great. <laughs> I'll just leave it like that. Read between the lines. Second Liberty Gun Club says, who's your favorite 90s MC? Favorite 90s what? MC. Oh, 90s? Damn. I mean, dang. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, MC. Man, it's, there's so many. You know what I mean? Uh, I grew... I just say this, man. You know that like like some of my favorite artists would be like Cube. If you guys didn't know, I graduated from high school with Cube. Know just about everything about him. Of course, he didn't morph into who he is now, but we went to high school together. We wrote together. Uh, so you know, like Cube. Uh, I ran with. You know, I was a youngster though then, with like Dr. Drake. Really, really big into the to that West Coast. You know what I mean? Like that's like end of uh, that's like mid 80 and then running through the I ain't really been an nwa fan though you know what i mean uh, i ain't gonna say i'm not a fan you know what i mean uh, i just like the more the individual work from the artist you know what i mean uh, i like that east coast too though donald Ezel sent you a super chat no question hey thank you guys you know what uh when you guys send super chat you know you could take the time to write up something you know what i mean and uh that for sure make sure that you know the young lady that you hear uh, reading the comments, she'll uh, make sure she reads your, you know, your question. And then with me saying that, listen, I want to say, hey, thank you to Nada. That's the young lady in the back reading the questions because I have nothing in front of me. And then we got one dude. Hey, you know what, man? You always talk about you never in the limelight. Come on over here. Come on. Come on, bro. Go. This is Chris. He don't never get a chance to be in front of this. This is the dude who make it uh, happen. You know what I mean? I call him, and it's a whole lot of work. No, it's all good. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look, this is Chris. Now you guys can say you finally got a chance to see him. He's the video department. You know what I mean? This the vi yeah, this the video department. <laughs> so this the dude who makes it all happen. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to need you to flip back to this right now because I'm about to get my texture that I got. But go ahead and just give him a round of applause. Thank you, Chris. All right. So look right here in this pot right here. To me, let's talk about this right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this up. How, how long have we been on here? You, you guys got a time? Yes. Give me one quick second. All right. But meanwhile. Kit huh? ran. All right. I'm only going to go about five more minutes. But I want you guys to take a look at this. Because I'm talking, 
You know what I mean? And I'm taking my time, you know, having a good time talking to you guys, answering comments, right? It took me longer. I usually make this in about 25 minutes. Uh, you want to talk about a hearty meal, you put this in a bowl with some cornbread, and this right here is your whole complete meal. You got your protein, right? You got bacon in here, and you got some andouille sausage kicking up its flavor. Then you got some veggie, right? Then you got some more veggies in there because I put the rainbow, and you guys can put whatever. I could have put carrots in this also. You just want to get them soft. Now, the part I want to talk to you about, this is where it reminds me of greens. It's up to you. Some people like their greens super soft like spinach. I don't like my greens that way. I like for my greens, when I lift it up like that, I like for it to look the way it look. I like for it to look like a green. I don't want it, I want to be able to still see the leafy, uh, you know, vein on there, but I still want it to be soft. That right there is like a little bit of an art. This right here, as far as I go, see I took the top off because I don't want it to steam no more. I want it to start cooling immediately. Ooh, my goodness, folks. If you don't have this on your, your plate tonight, something wrong. Hey, run out to the store, call DoorDash, who deliver, whoever, get yourself a head of cabbage. You probably got everything in there. And then make this right here. All right. Kit Wren says we used to go to Lions Drag Strip as teenagers in the 1960s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's somebody down there. Uh, hey, you know what? I have never, ever been to Lions Drag Strip, ever. Heard so much about it. Uh, all, all like the older cats that I, you know, I fool with. You know what I mean? Uh, they out there, they wear the shirts. Uh, I, I, I knew about it and all of that, but... I didn't really get introduced to uh, drag racing until uh, 19, oh man, damn, it's, it sound bad when I hit them with the 19, you know what I mean? I'm like, you're still going? I'm uh, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm hey, it was going to get worse, because then I had to put the other two numbers with it, you know what I mean? So, I've just been doing this a long time, that's just my love, you know what I mean? I'm out here in Vegas, I'm only, hey, from Las Vegas, uh, from the strip, uh, you know, the drag strip, uh, let's see, I'm only, I think I'm only like 20 minutes away. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, I can, you know what I mean? I can jump, put the car in the trailer and jump right on down that way. Vincent Wilson, what kind of car do you race? Oh, uh, you don't want to show it. I, I got an import car too. I'm building a, a 67, uh, 67 Nova. I'd have to go get it right now. Uh, Chris has got it. Hey, Chris, don't get that one. I think we got another one upstairs that'd be better than that. I mean, well, you can get that. Also, this is the moment where we're going to cue the music. Okay, yeah, you can cue it. All right, this is it right here. Oh, I don't know. Can, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is it right here. You know what I mean? It's a tube chassis car. Uh, I'll keep the numbers uh, quiet. You guys can look. They just did a spread on this on the magazine. Uh, I just finished that today, so I know that was submitted. Uh, submitted to the final editor, that's all. Uh, but I do have the spot. You know what I mean? There's a lot of cool things you know, coming for me, you know what I mean? Oh, you guys can't really see, but the whole car is wrapped like my channel, you know what I mean? Uh, that's the cool thing about it. So the bull that's on my channel, that's what's on the side. I got some better pictures, you know, upstairs, but this is something I just hang up and put on the wall. Okay, so look, this is the part that right here that we all wanted to wait on, you know what I mean? Uh, that's me. Mm. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, folks. I got the best job in the world. Grace Foundation says that's dope. Cooking with James says car is sick, bro. Hey, you know what? Uh, thank you. And I, I don't want to say cliches. You know, like, hey, put your hard work in. You know what I mean? Because when I say I'm blessed, listen, uh, God has showed me his favor. And he shows favor to everybody. Let me just say that. I'm not no preacher, you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, but this was just a lot of praying. You know what I mean? To get off of the road. Then missed everything. You know, just trying to keep food on my table, you know what I mean, and, and trying to, you know, feed the fam, so, you know what I mean, and then I, then I get blessed to have a, a YouTube channel that did what it has done, you know what I mean, uh, just, you know what I mean, and uh, we just, we just got to do it. I don't want to get into no preaching service or nothing like that, but I just say, hey, find something that you like. If you love it, stick with it, you know what I mean, and don't be afraid to fail. I know everybody hears that, and then sometimes we put a lot of time into something and it don't turn into nothing. The same way I say you put your time in, you got to be able to cut it loose. Cause I done had several ventures that just didn't work out, but I'm not married to it. You know what I mean? And, uh, but the, old, the end of everything is this, you know what I mean? I'm able to do this and inspire and to teach others and to help others. Hey, with that being said, listen, while I'm talking, I'm trying to figure out how to keep my saliva in my mouth because I'm trying to try this right here. Ooh, ooh. You know what folks, I'm gonna end it on that. Mm. 
I got the texture right with this one right there. And I ain't gonna lie to you, all the time I don't get it right, but I got it. So, if you guys haven't seen me make this, I done made this two or three times on my channel. Mm, that Creole kick, give it a nice little hiccup that heat, you know, bagging in on the back of my tongue. This right here is right. Give me one second. Can one of you guys grab me a, a water, please? And we're gonna wrap this up. Again, I wanna give a recap. You know what I mean? Uh, you like this? You wanna see other talented people like myself? Then look, I'm not afraid. You know, I don't work with all kind of people. If you see somebody out there and I haven't worked with them, it ain't for the lack of me trying to like reach out to them and they just don't say nothing back. Like, like maybe they're not getting the emails, but I can only do so much. But if you want to see other talented uh, chefs like myself and find out where I'm starting to learn and hone my skills, you know, because my grandmother didn't did what she did, handing me off to my mama. My mama let you know ran so far. It's a relay race. Now they didn't let me loose with these uh, with these chefs. You want to check them out? Go by the Grilling TV Network. Go by there, subscribe, look down, look at you know, find you a favorite chef and just watch. If you ask me, watch them all because they all got something to you know to to give and to teach. You know, with that being said, uh, mm, I'm finna eat, folks. Super easy, cabbage and dewy. Mm, that's it right there. And I'm not going to hold y'all up no longer. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button on this video right here. And with that being said, guess what, folks? I'm going to pull up with my bowl, and I'm out. Peace.